Elden Ring is disappointing. As a FromSoft veteran, having played all of the previous Souls games from start to tutorial boss, I have a lot of experience with the series, and this new entry just seems to highlight all of the things wrong with the earlier games. Right off the bat, you start a new file and the game barrages you with all these words and numbers. Without telling you anything about what anything does, the game wants you to choose between these classes with stats that you know nothing about. I'm especially offended by this one stat called intelligence, suggesting that players with lesser mental capacity choose a class with higher intelligence to be on a level playing field with everyone else. This is just a peek into From Software's deep-rooted ableism and contempt for disabled gamers. The elitist culture surrounding these games is sickening, and the notion that I shouldn't play them simply because I scored a 250 on my SAT is downright cruel. The most agreed thing, however, is that choosing a class with high intelligence did not actually make me any smarter. Once you finally defeat the character creation puzzle boss, you're then greeted by the game's second boss. I really respect the innovations made by FromSoft with this boss design. While most bosses are designed to be killed by the player, the objective with this one fight is to die to the boss, which, being an experienced veteran of this playstyle, I did in record time. After a brief cutscene, FromSoft really wears their inspiration on their sleeve by directly ripping off the opening to Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild was also the inspiration for the entire Soul series, as that's where Miyazaki got the idea for the stamina bar. He borrows even more heavily in Elden Ring by making it open world. While shameless, I do enjoy this homage to Breath of the Wild, as Breath of the Wild is the greatest game ever made. After a starting area that does not include any tutorial, the game puts yet another boss in front of you. But unlike the previous boss, the die instantly strategy no longer works, which is a real disappointment. The community praises these games for their nature of letting you play however you want, but after just a single boss, the only playstyle that I know how to use no longer works. This is just one of the many accessibility issues that plague from software titles. There's only really one way to play the game, and no matter how much I increase my intelligence stat, the game simply does not allow me to unlock that playstyle. This is where I think the game could really benefit from difficulty sliders that let you tweak the numbers and change the difficulty. I had to reference a guide online which notified me about the runaway playstyle, which allowed me to finally defeat this boss. It sucks that the game doesn't bother to inform you about any of these playstyles. It doesn't inform you about much of anything to be honest. There's no mini-map, no waypoints, or even main objective markers. The developers basically expect the player to create the adventure themselves? Anyways, through complete coincidence, I find myself at a checkpoint, which gives me a mount, another reference to Breath of the Wild, where you can traverse the open world on a horseback. It's honestly shocking how much of Elden Ring is taken from other games, and not all of it is good. Even from From Software's own games, they copy their homework, yet somehow still get the wrong answers. These new checkpoints called Stakes of M Mar Marika? M Marika? Uh, uh, Stakes of America allow you to respawn at one of them instead of regular bonfires whenever you die. This causes you to have to do this frustrating quick time event every single time you want to respawn, a problem that was also present in Sekiro. I know these games are supposed to be hard, but a respawn mechanic is hardly the place to be including yet another puzzle boss. The boss quality in general really falls off after Grafted Scion by forcing players into this killing the boss style of play. Miyazaki, I want to play the game using my playstyle. Let me play with my playstyle. It boggles my mind how this game sold so many copies while being so disrespectful to the player. I just don't understand. And I I've leveled my intelligence, but I still just don't understand it. The world gives you all of these places you can travel to, but then puts a boss that I can't beat in every single one. What exactly is supposed to be my motive for exploration? The game has a crafting mechanic, but it doesn't even let you click the crafting option in your menu. All of the materials just take up space in your inventory for no good reason. Here you can see yet another clear nod to the 1998 masterpiece, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The player character is running, much like how Link does in that game. It's frustrating how much of this game is ripped straight from Zelda, but FromSoft didn't even bother to include things like craftable meals. Some of the items you collect seem to indicate they can be used to make food, but again, the game straight up just locks you out of crafting items. Almost like they forgot to enable it before shipping out the final version of the game. I want to note that it's not just the bosses in Elden Ring's world that are lacking. The so-called puzzles also leave much to be desired. This one area requires that you light six fires before fighting a boss. 
that's probably unbeatable. I found and lit five of the fires, but the sixth one must be coming in a later patch because I never found it. I looked around the entire map, further leveled my intelligence, and still never found it. I tried to look at the map for help, but the team at FromSoft is so lazy that they didn't even bother to draw anything on the map they give you to find your way around. You just have to navigate from checkpoint to checkpoint with no other indicators for where you are. Elden Ring is an unfinished, ableist, anti-Semitic, racist mess of a game that cares more about making fun of the player than giving the player fun things to do. 9.1 out of 10. It has a little something for everyone.